Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It feels like I haven't done a sit down video in ages. I'm kicking things off this month with my what I got for my birthday video. For those of you who haven't seen one of these before, I do these every year, um, mainly just to show the gifts I got. And as with every year, I'm gonna address the little disclaimer that I'm not gonna actually do because this is in no way bragging because they're not things that I bought myself, so. It's really hard to brag about things that you didn't buy with your own money. It's just a little light-hearted video to show you what I got for my birthday. I have loved my birthday presents this year. There's not a ton of them. I actually got a lot of flowers, which I am loving, um, and a lot of food, actually. So um, I've already eaten them. All the flowers are all downstairs, so um, there's not much of those to show. <laughs> and I'm really happy that I can finally show you guys these because I've been hiding them in my vlog waiting for this video. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm doing Vlogtober, so there have been a lot of vlogs before this and a lot of videos so um, I'll link those in a playlist below if you haven't seen them but um, yeah I'm just gonna get on with this video because this is gonna get really long and rambly. Okay so I'm gonna get started with the little bits and I'm hoping that I've got everything that people have bought me. There's a lot of things that I, I was really good this year and I actually started tidying my presents away on the day of my birthday, which I never normally do. They're normally stacked in a pile for about two weeks before I film this video. Um, but I started putting everything away and things have now kind of made themselves at home. So I had to go around my house and actually find everything. But yeah, I've got a few things from Oliver Bonus to start off with. This first one is from Josh's parents and sister, I believe. And it's a little um, like metal cased uh, frame. I don't know if you can see. I'm reflecting a lot, there it is. Um, and you basically just put little square photos in it and this ties in really nicely with the gift that Josh got me, which I will show you guys in a minute. But um, yeah, I really like these. I wasn't actually too keen on them when they came out a couple of years ago. Um, they were a little bit too vintagey for my taste, but I've actually grown to love them a lot and they really work for the house that we're in now. With our previous flat, it was a bit too white and um, I don't really know, it just didn't work in, that house, the house's character didn't really work with certain things, but this house is a little bit more oldy and it works a lot better. So I've been loving these. I've got a big gold one and I basically put two Polaroid photos in each side. I've got one from like years ago, me and Josh, and one with the recent one. And I really like that. So um, yeah, I'll probably do something similar with this. And then I've also got this makeup bag from Oliver Bonus, which is actually perfect because as a birthday present, Oliver Bonus actually sent me um, the like big pink version of this. So I've got the big one and the little one, which I desperately wanted. By the way, I'm not gonna show you like brand gifts in this, just the gifts from like friends and family. Um, but there is, uh, the Oliver Bonus stuff is featured in yesterday's or Friday's vlog if you want to go and watch that. Um, I'll link that below. But yeah, this is from Josh's sister and his mum and dad. And it's so beautiful. Lots of you will know I'm loving like deep navy blues and teal blues and kind of greeny forest, greeny blue, anything greeny blue I'm really liking for autumn. And this is just perfect. I really want to get some furniture in this colour. So uh, watch this space but yeah I'm so happy with this and then I've got one of these um like message boards light up message boards this is from Josh and um he thought it would be funny to have in the back of my videos occasionally to um like send secret messages to you guys so you never know this will probably pop up in the back of a video like help me I'm so tired blah just like my moods will probably end up going on here I think that could be quite funny then I have a gift from my mum she actually got me another um like set of this um this is a set from the white company she actually got me two but one of them i've already like completely unwrapped and thrown away the packaging because i'm a massive eager beaver um but this is a set from the white company this is gonna be really hard to get off um and it is all of their diffusers that they do so it's like a year-round kind of diffuser set so they have their summer scent their spring scent their autumn scent and their winter scent i think i believe that's right yeah and the reason she got me this was because she said she just couldn't pick a scent for me so um she loved all of them and wanted to buy all of them and this set was just perfect for that and then she also got me um, i did mention up front to her when we've been talking about like diffusers and stuff that they did an autumn one and that I really liked it so she got me a full autumn um, kind of tester set as well so it's got like the small diffuser it's got a small room spray a small candle I think that's it but yeah they're all just over on my chest of drawers over there making this room smell very nice and autumnal I love diffusers like I love candles but they can be quite damaging for like the walls in your house and things like that so um, I do like to use diffusers a lot more now that we've moved I'm, I don't want any more smoke damage seeing it when we took all of our furniture out of our old place 
was awful. So um, I'm trying to use candles a little bit less, still loving them now that autumn's rolled around, but um, for like scenting our home specifically, I am not using candles. I just have them as a like nice extra. Um, but diffusers and room sprays are definitely more the way I've been going. So I was really, really happy to receive these. Such a lovely gift and my mum knows that I am obsessed with the white company. It's just home goals. Then I have some more home bits and these bits are from Liv Purvis. Lots of you will know her Instagram and her blog. I love that woman and she bought me some birthday gifts and she totally didn't need to, but she did and she is an absolute babe. She got me this plate which is the first gift and it's from Anthropology, and it is a gorgeous pink plate with a Dalmatian on it and I am freaking obsessed with Dalmatians. I love them. I would have one if it wasn't for the fact that their breeding is kind of weird and they have a lot of like issues and I think that's really sad but like visually they are beautiful and I love this plate. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it because I could not eat off of this so um, I'm going to have to find like a prettier purpose for this but it is just so stunning. I think I could end up being one of those little old ladies that has like the cat plates. Does anyone else's grandma do that? Like, I know it's like referenced in Harry Potter with that um, weird teacher ministry lady where she has like cat plates on her wall. But my nan genuinely used to have like lots of plates with like animals on it. I could definitely see myself being the kind of little old lady that has like tons and tons of these on her wall. I would stick this on my wall. Like I genuinely want to stick it on my wall. It's that beautiful. Um, I'm getting a bit rambly. I've had coffee this morning. And yeah, <laughs> here we are. Oh, also inside one of Liv's gifts, I also have this set of unicorn earrings, which Josh bought for me. And um, they're by a brand called Acorn and Will, if anyone wants to get these. But uh, yeah, uh, unicorn earrings. Don't know when I'm gonna wear these, but thank you. I ended up unintentionally having a very unicorn themed birthday. If you've watched the vlogs, you will know why. But yeah, totally unintentional. Anyway, the next present I got, which was from Liv as well, is also from Anthropology, and it's this gorgeous little, um, like, speckled tin. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it very well, because the light's kind of different up close. But yeah, it's this gorgeous little speckled china tin with gold foiling on the front and the back. And um, it's got a really cute little lid, and it's just, it is so cute. I don't know what I'm gonna use this for, but it's so freaking cute. I'll let you know where I put this. I just think it is so beautiful. Anthropology is one of the most gorgeous places. If you're looking to buy someone a really beautiful home gift, that place is a dream. I, I can't get over it. It's just so beautiful in there. No one let me in there before Christmas because once their Christmas stuff is in there, I don't know if I'll be able to restrain myself. Okay, next gift. This one's from Josh and it's the HP Sprocket. This is not sponsored. I know they've done a lot of work with bloggers in the past. Boyfriend came through and bought this for me because he remembered, I think it came out about a year ago and I'd seen it everywhere and I really, really wanted it and he remembered that I really wanted it. Yeah, I'm so happy I got it. I was testing it out last night. So I printed off some photos. I'll show you. So this is the first one. That's a picture of me and Josh. I basically just printed off a lot of photos of me and Josh. Here's Josh holding the dogs, living his best life. That is literally what I said as I took this photo. I was like, you literally look like you're living your best life. There's me and my goddaughter, Edie. Every time I say goddaughter, I think people like miss here and they're like, you have a daughter? And I'm like, no, no, <laughs> no, no, no. This is Josh and I at Soho Farmhouse last January. Super cute. This is Rory living her best life. Literally this photo looks like it should be the other way up, but she's actually upside down. This is the funniest photo, I couldn't resist printing it off. And then I printed off this photo of me and Alex as well. This is one of my favourite photos of us from this year, mainly because I think I'm bossing her about in this and I think that just sums up our relationship. Uh, it's just a funny photo. And that was actually taken, I don't know if you can see, um, it was taken on the top of the rock. Um, is it top of the rock? No, top of the Empire State Building. Yeah, that was a really fun trip and I loved going with her. So that's one of my favorite memories and photos of us. So as you can tell, I've been liking it. I think it's really fun. Once you get it, it you set it up by Bluetooth and it just prints your photos for you. And it's really cool. I'm so happy with it. One of the things I very rarely do is print off my Instagram photos. I'm quite good at taking my Polaroid camera to places with me, but if I forget it and I take photos on my phone or just if I just take photos on my phone, as well as the Polaroid camera, it's still nice to have the printing option. But yeah, I'm really, really chuffed with that. Those were my smaller presents. And then I have a present from Alex, 
which is still in its duster bag. I haven't been able to bring myself to wear it yet because Rory, our puppy, still has her like puppy claws and they're so, so sharp and she is ruining a lot of my knitwear. So this is something that I really don't want to get ruined. And it is the Shinty and Parker Moomins collaboration jumper. I love this so much and Alex has the navy one and I was so close to buying the pink one I told her I really really wanted the pink one and I was desperate for it and I was thinking about ordering it and she had faith that I would end up like not ordering it and ordered it for me instead um which was very lucky because I very nearly did buy this but yeah it's a really really special jumper the quality of Shin Chin Parker jumpers are so beautiful it's up there with like Bella Freud levels of like jumper comfiness I'm such a huge fan of their brand so when they did their range with the Moomins I was just so into it so this is like the best present ever it's so cute I can't wait to wear this I'm gonna have to wear this when I'm not around my dog I'm going away next week I might take it with me purely just just to wear whilst there isn't a dog around okay and then we have my last present which is from Josh and a lot of you have already noticed purely just from like the tag of this like it has little tags on it and um, the tags in the corner of it being um in like shots in vlogs you've noticed what this is and uh, 10 points to all of you who have noticed because I'm really trying not to show it too much on camera it's only appeared like a couple of times but this is my present from Josh that I got for my birthday and it is the Coach uh, Selena Gomez um, collaboration and I wanted this so, so much. I don't own any red bags and I don't have very many larger bags as well. And in the winter I do tend to cart around a lot more. I need an umbrella. I'd like to be able to put a jumper or a scarf in my bag because you have to take layers on and off a lot. And I like to have something that isn't suede or like a very, ruinable material and um my favorite balenciaga bag as much as it is like a very wintry autumnal bag the material is not the most practical so this is really good in terms of the fact that like water is not going to absolutely ruin it it has a zip closure as well so it is nice and secure and it is just the most stunning bag like i actually look at this and I just stare at it for quite a while. And I never thought I'd feel that way about a red bag. Like red is not, I say this wearing red and holding a red bag, but red is not normally a color that I fall in love with. There's something about this bag in particular, like yeah, this jumper's cute, but like I'm not in love with it. But this bag I genuinely look at and I'm just like, you are so beautiful. And uh, yeah, it's gorgeous. I even love, like these little tags are so cute. So the back one, I actually reordered this because this one was on the front. Um, the back one has Selena Gomez's like signing on it. And then the one in the front, you can actually have um, monogrammed. I'll see if I can do a close up of this. Yeah, you can have this monogrammed and I have my initials and then a little unicorn um, like emoji, not emoji, um, like, uh, like symbol thingy and then it has this little heart as well which I think is gorgeous so I put that on the front as well because that was like hanging behind so yeah I love this detail I just think that it is so cute I love the fact that you can have this monogrammed it just made it so so special and it does it just feels like a really special bag and I love that it's like red for me is like a very romantic color and I love the fact that it was Josh that bought this for me I normally buy my own bags but this one feels really really special and I just I just love it. I love it. Oh, and without making this a full bag review, it also has a long strap as well, which I really like. And you can make it like a shorter long strap because um, it has like holes over this side or you can have a longer long strap. And um, I also really love the fact that the handles on this have little like rotating things. So when you want to put your strap inside your bag, it kind of folds inwards. So you don't have like the tops of the straps constantly poking out the top like they hang perfectly on the inside and then they rotate out when you want to have your strap out and I just think that that is so cool and the whole way that the bag straps work really really pleases me it's very user friendly so yeah I love that it's also got a pocket on the front and and then two pockets on the inside on the bottom one and then a zip pocket in the top as well so yeah that is my birthday bag so I think that's going to be it for my what I got for my birthday video. I really hope you guys have all enjoyed this. I'm actually just about to film a Zara haul and that will be on my channel tomorrow at 6pm. So check back then for that. Uh, for those of you that don't know, this month I'm uploading Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday as part of Vlogtober. And yeah, I hope you'll join me for more videos. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go now. 
some rambling and um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.